Hello, everybody, and welcome to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week, no matter what sport you're betting on. So, this week we're going to do some uh, predictions and picks for uh, NHL games for Saturday, October the 12th. And if you're not already, already a member, please join the VIP club section here where you have all these great tools that help you make your picks more easily. So we're going to scroll down through here and see some of the great games that we have in store for this weekend of the NHL season. We're going to start with Edmonton Oilers and the New York Rangers. Edmonton is off to a 3-0 start. You can see here that they have wins against uh, Vancouver, Los Angeles, and the New York Islanders. Their average status, the Rangers are off to a 2-0 start, having beaten Winnipeg and Ottawa. They are also average status. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see that the Rangers jumped from plus 5 to plus 21 just over the last couple of days. Edmonton dropped from plus 27, but they're still ahead of the Rangers in this category with a plus uh, 23 rating. Uh, you can see down here the totals predictor. If you're considering the over and under, you will see that the, on the red line here, that Edmonton is playing in games trending well over the blue line right there. And you also see that the Rangers are trending over the line as well. So betting the over-under is probably a very wise choice going the over in this game. If you take a look at the stability early on, although the season just started, you get a look at how stable the two teams have been. You see the Rangers here, if you look over the left here, it says the Rangers are 1 and Edmonton is 0. So the Rangers have been a little bit more stable, performing more consistently according to their favorite underdog status. If you look at what the two teams did against each other last season in the head-to-head -head matchups, you will see that Edmonton won both meetings. They won 3-2 at home and 2-1 on the road. I'm seeing this trend continuing, and if you see here, I put this uh, comment here. Under math, it's, it has the uh, little write-up about the, about the matchup, what I think is going to happen. And I predict that Edmonton will continue their hot trend and take this one on the road. Go down through here. We're going to do a few more of these games here. The full slate of schedule, as you see. And the next one we want to take a look at is the New Jersey Devils at the Boston Bruins. You see, New Jersey has average status. They have uh, they're 0 1 and 1 so far this season, tying. Yeah, they're 0 1 and 1 this season so far. And Boston is at. Well, they have won every game so far. They're off to a really good start. They are 3-0 and so far this season, and they are burning hot compared to average for New Jersey. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see that Boston is up here near the top. They're, they've dropped a little bit, but they're still plus 24. Very strong team. And New Jersey is down here at plus 10. If you take a look at the head-to-head -head matchups between the two teams last season, you will see that Boston won three out of the five games. And one, winning the last one in a 2 0 shutout. And they also have a 1 0 shutout in there as well. Considering the over under for this game, well, let's see what we got here. New Jersey is trending in games well over. Boston is trending in games under. So it's kind of a wash. I would say probably avoid the over under in this game because they're trending on opposite sides of the line. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. How stable have the two teams been thus far? Well, you can see Boston is at plus one. New Jersey is at minus one. So New Jersey has not been very stable so far. It's just their two meetings this season. So what do we think about the overall matchup? It's really hard to think that New Jersey has much of a chance in this one. Boston is clearly a much stronger team, and they're playing at home. So go with the Bruins to continue their hot streak and win this game. And we have a few more great matchups here. This one's a, an interesting one as well. Toronto Maple Leafs at the Detroit Red Wings. So, so far this season, Toronto is 2-1-1, one, and, one, and Detroit is 2-1. Toronto is burning hot, as you can see. And Detroit is, <clears throat> excuse me, Detroit is at ice cold down at the moment. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will notice here that Detroit is plus 27. Toronto is plus 25. You can see Detroit made a huge climb just in the last couple of days from all the way down at zero. I guess their early 2 and one start will do that. So that's what, where they're at at the moment. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups from last season, you will consider this. Eh, maybe you'll consider it strongly. Maybe you won't, but it's a good thing to look at. Toronto won the last two meetings of last season, and they actually took the series between the two teams three games, two. 
considering the over and under, let's take a look at that as well, as we always do. You can see Toronto is trending in games play, uh, trending under in the games. You can see the red line below the blue line. And you can see Toronto, excuse me, Detroit is trending in games over the line. So, again, it's kind of a wash, so probably best to avoid the over under in the games in this series. How stable have the two teams been early on? Detroit, very unstable at minus two. Take that into consideration when you look at their favorite underdog status, and Toronto is currently at zero. The way I'm looking at this matchup here, I'm thinking that uh, Toronto took through the five last season, and I just think that they're overall the better team, and I'm thinking maybe a slight road upset to uh, Detroit, maybe a uh, side home favorite. The line's not out yet on that, but I'd say pick Toronto in a very narrow win, perhaps doing it in overtime. Go look at a couple more here as we scroll down through the list. Very full slate of games here. Calgary at Vegas. This is probably the matchup of, of the game, of, of the of the day, excuse me. Two Pacific Division teams. Calgary won one and one. Vegas at two and one. If you look at their status right now, Calgary is ice cold down. Vegas is burning hot at the moment. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you also see that Vegas is at plus 25 and Calgary for a very strong dip over the last you know, week or two. They're down to plus seven. Over and under considerations? Well, this one you're going to go under. If you take a look here, Calgary is trending in games Monday, playing under. And you can see Vegas is trending in games under as well. So go with the under. In this one, that is probably a very safe bet. Let's take a look at the head-to-head -head matchups between the two teams. Again, it's pretty evenly matched as far as the season series goes. And if you look at this here, the team that was at home won every time. Calgary won three out of the five games, all of them at home. And you can see Vegas has two wins in there also at home. And there have been uh, some blowouts in this as well. I mean... Vegas 4-0, Calgary 7-1, Calgary 7-2, Calgary 6-3. So it's been pretty offside as far as the winning team is concerned. So let's take a look at one more thing here. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. How stable are the two teams? Both showing moderate stability at plus one very early on. Performing consistent with their favorite underdog status. So... Calgary took, like again, Calgary took three of the five meetings between the teams last season, but I think that Vegas playing at home, they're burning hot at the moment. I think they will get off to an early lead in the season series, and they will take this game. Okay, and one last game I want to look at, the Philadelphia Flyers and the Vancouver Canucks. Neither team has been playing particularly great. Uh, you can see here, Philadelphia did win their first game of the season, but they're ice cold up. Vancouver's ice cold down, having lost their first two. If you want to take a look at the power rankings indicator, you can see Philadelphia is way down here at plus two. And Vancouver has dropped significantly just since October 2nd from plus 20 down to plus eight. You can see their clear downward trend as well. Head to head from last season. Well, not really too much to look at. Only two games. Both teams winning at home. Vancouver in a 5-1 to one blowout and the Flyers with a 2-1 to one victory. Thinking about the over and under, in this matchup here, you would probably not bet either way I would say to avoid but well, here's the volatility oscillator first excuse me so in the volatility oscillator you will see Vancouver is plus one to plus zero now we'll take a look at the uh, over under in the totals predictor you will see Philadelphia is playing in games trending under the line Vancouver is playing in games trending over the line usually when one is under one is over I say to avoid it because they're trending on opposite sides of the line so that's what I suggest again in this game so the big thing I'm seeing in this one here, though, is that Vancouver has scored only two goals this season. Their offense has been very bad, and I see those troubles continuing. The Flyers don't put up a huge number of goals, but I don't think they'll get shut out. I think Vancouver scores one, two at the very most. I would be surprised if they even score two. So I think Philadelphia will head in to Vancouver and take this game on the road. So you have it for the picks, but before I conclude here, I want you to take a look here at the Zeke Code Cash Contest we have here. For right now you can win a new iphone 11 so just take a look at this right here you can see what's happening um you know basically just read this and see what you need to do in, uh, to uh enter this contest and you could win you could win a new iphone so there you go so there you have it i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you will enjoy the nhl season 
and happy betting and we will see you next week.